Welcome to episode eight sixty three. Forest Lee, e-commerce king of Southeast Asia from Singapore. This is an outline of episode eight sixty three. There are two reasons we study Forest Lee. First, he's the e-commerce king of Southeast Asia. Second, his online game Free Fire also has about five hundred million users. Why did you decide to go into e-commerce? We see e-commerce is is very very booming、mm. in the other markets, right? And for example, in the U.S. and 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 in in, in China, e-commerce penetration of retail is already close to like twenty percent. Around five six years ago. Uh, sometimes I brought my family、uh, travel around, and we spend some time in China. I ask my daughter, so what do you miss most about China? She said Taobao, and I half joke with her. Okay, then Daddy will build one for you here. <laughs> He was born in 1978 in Tianjin, China. Earned an engineering degree from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. In 2006, he earned MBA from Stanford. He was 28. This is his job history. He worked at Motorola China. He also worked at Corning China. He also worked for Viacom Media Networks, also known as MTV. Actually, I chose the name myself. When I was in college, I was inspired by Forrest Gump. He lived in a very successful and very meaningful life, and by helping a lot of other people. So that is really、uh, impress me and、uh, and inspire me. I hope I can live a similar like <laughs> life as his. Yeah. <laughs> Second person that inspired him was Steve Jobs, who gave the famous 2005 Stanford graduation speech. Forrest Lee was there because his girlfriend. Was there? This is the headquarters of Shopee in Singapore. First, how he became a citizen of Singapore. The credit go to the the, the scholarship program Singapore launched, and、uh, yeah, so I I, I know this、uh, from my from my wife. Like、uh, the Singapore government think, okay, the domestic talent pool is probably not enough to support economic growth. So basically, just invite young talent from China, from neighboring countries, to to come here for 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 school. And、uh, my my wife originally from China, from Wuxi. So it's a、uh, like a like a during the high school entrance exam, she's ranked number one. So she offered the by the MOE for scholarship to study high school here, and then take the Tomasek scholarship, go to the U.S. to study. So with the six years bond. So we met. <laughs> <laughs> We 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 met we met a、uh, we met at Stanford. So she has obligations, and her father told me, "If you don't go to Singapore, no deal." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I now realize that when we give scholarships, we should give it to women and find out who their boyfriends are, <laughs> and we get two for the price of one scholarship. In 2009, at the age of 31, he founded Garena in Singapore. Garena makes. Popular games like Free Fire. Big turning point was 2015, when Tencent of China came in, and the company began e-commerce. President of Singapore-based internet company C. It grabbed attention last October. C, short for Southeast Asia, became the first startup from this part of the world to list on the New York Stock Exchange. I met Group President Nick Nash to find out what C Limited is a holdings company from Singapore. It's taken a page out of the Chinese playbook by tackling three pillars. You've got e-commerce, you have digital payment, and you have gaming. It's no surprise that 25% of the stake is held by Tencent. This is the stock price of his company, symbol SE, and it went up about 800% in less than three years. And in September 2020, we have the three new rich amigos of Singapore. Forest Lee, aged 42, is worth 7.5 billion dollars. Next is Gang Yi, he's worth 4.3 billion dollars. And David Chen is worth 1.4 billion dollars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. 
My next video will be Forest Lee, Ten Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.